YouTube, how's it going? This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union. Just want to give you guys a shout out. Hope everyone is doing really, really well. And uh, I'm bringing you another video, a player spotlight video on uh, one of our uh, best players in the game. And uh, as you know, I tend to do these player spotlights once in uh, every few uh, weeks. And uh, we're going to focus on one of our best players. His name is Prime Stark. Now, if we take a look at Prime Stark in the rankings, Prime Stark is currently. Uh, ranked, uh, I think he's ranked in the 30s. Yeah, 33 overall with 15,680 medals. So he's climbing very, very fast. Uh, I won't be surprised to see him uh, in the top uh, five in uh, in just a few more months. So we just loaded up his base and as, and as you can see here, it's fully maxed out and he has every single gold core in the game and he's pretty much maxed out all his cores. Like there is a Auto cannon with a level 15 armor on it. His mortars have level 15 armor on it. And uh, you're pretty much going to find this for everything on his base. Laser guided missiles with 15 uh, level 15 on them as well. Anti-air guns with uh, a level 15. So uh, Prime Stark has one of the best bases in the world. And he's got all his cores upgraded. And uh, as you can see here, he's a very, very solid player. And uh, we're very glad to have him in our alliance. Now take a look at this little screenshot I put up here. So yeah, as you can see here, here are some of uh, Prime Stark's uh, most uh, famous uh, accomplishments. Uh, one is that uh, a lot of people have been talking about is that he scored 333k uh, in one leaderboard alone. And that's just uh, one single player. Typically you'd see, you know, a one one whole team getting 333k so uh for one player to do that is very very impressive very excited to uh, try out the next leaderboard with him and uh, another big accomplishment is that he leveled his five star leader from one to 60 in just a mere 53 hours during that event so uh that he that he holds a record for that as well there's no one else that even comes close to leveling a five star bot to 60 in such a short period of time very, very impressive and uh, and have to definitely admire that dedication to uh, leveling bots because, uh, yeah, I don't think I could do that. Uh, another thing that uh, I'm very impressed with is his uh, ability to to use three bots to crush a max base in, in, at HQ-16 Cybertron. So uh, in that in the picture, in the screenshot that I showed you guys before, you'll see a picture of Alita, Inferno, and Springer. And those are the three bots that he uses to uh, take down max bases, and I'll show you uh, a replay uh, with him using three bots. All right, so we've loaded up this base, and as you can see here, it is a max base with some decent defenses, uh, mostly silver and some gold cores, and he just uses three bots to solo this base, so we're gonna show you how he does it. So first off, he starts off with Inferno and Springer, just to try and get some uh, extra points from the bottom, perhaps. And then the main thing is, is Alita 1. That's the star of the show for him. And as you can see her here, he's using Alita 1 with a level 20 Megatronus core, a level 60 Alita 1, and a level 10 ability that deals 2,938 damage to nearby enemies. And when you pair that with Inferno's ability to add an extra 30% increase, uh, that is uh, 3,000 plus 30, so that's another 900 basically damage. He's almost do she's almost dealing 4,000 damage each time she strikes in the air like that. So uh, there you go. She he uses three bots here to solo a very very good maxed base, and that's just one example here. We're gonna show you some more examples. Yeah, I just want to also give out a shout out to Battlestars SG. Uh, we are placing them in Cybertron today. And here is another attack of Prime Starks using three bots and his maxed level 20 Victorion. So again, his Springer he has uh, Micronus Core level 20, Aero Support 9, Defensive Perimeter 9. And there he sends up his Alita 1 to take out the top of the base. And... Uh, and pop Lugnut. And as you can see, Lugnut is a five star for this uh, Ryu uh, player. 
And then he uses uh, his Victorion to take out the Lugnut outpost bot. And uh, Victorion at level 20 is very impressive. I never thought that she'd be this good, but she uses her uh, reflective ability here to uh, deal damage back to uh, the enemy base. And as you can see here, she can do a lot of damage to an HQ. And that, and that uh, Noble Sacrifice, her four-star ability, is just, uh, is just gross. You'll see him use it uh, in, in a second here. And that will stun the entire base as well. So this is a very, very uh, good combiner, as you can see there. It stuns uh, a lot of the defenses. And then uh, you just pop uh, Springer and Alita up to the top there. And with those defenses down for 10 seconds, uh, this base doesn't stand a chance. And that's it. That's, uh, that's Prime Star taking down another very, very strong uh, max base with, as you saw there, a five-star bot in the outpost. So uh, let's take a look at one more base again. So here we go, we loaded up another base, and this is Supa Dupa's base. As you, as you all know, Supa Dupa is a very, very good player, one of the best players in the world of Transformers Earth Wars, and he uses a team called his Deep Strike Team. This is uh, a, uh, an attack that, that Prime Stark uh, has pretty much trademarked. It's his, it's his attack, and he uses a lot of uh, bots that can do lots of range, uh, and you'll see uh, them in action here. As you can see, he pops a uh, smoke screen to the top there, and uh, the object uh, of that was to give uh, Alita one a cloud. As you can see there, Alita will pop down there, and she'll have all those defenses attacking her and outpost bots, so that's why he uses smoke screen there. And then a cup for support, Springer to heal up Alita, and uh, Inferno and Prime just to tank, and Inferno to give that extra 30% ability. So this is his deep strike team, a lot of good range bots, and um, yeah, very excited to, uh, to, uh, to try and replicate this attack uh, once I get a chance to uh, get a five star Alita and uh, level up. Uh, my, I, got my, I got my Saber up to level 60, so he'll be good. And uh, that five star Springer is very, very impressive. I, that was another bot that I wasn't too crazy about getting, but uh, look at all that healing. He can deal, uh, he can heal quite a bit. Uh, once you get him up to a five-star ability, and uh, of course, uh, Prime Stark has these guys maxed out at level 60, and uh, we'll show you uh, a, a screenshot of uh, his uh, bots here. So you can see there that Alita 1 at maxed out at 60 there is, is just gross. It's it's so sick how, how great this bot is as a five-star bot. Look at that health, 23,900 health. And look at that damage per second. And you get an extra 45% with that Megatronus core that he has uh, maxed out on Alita 1. So very impressive there. And uh, you can see the Springer here at 444 damage a second maxed out. 14,000 health, not the greatest health in the world, but uh, his defensive perimeter ability and his healing is just so strong. He, He's going to heal the team for over 2,000 when he, when he jumps up there to, to heal up the team. So uh, a very, very scary uh, bots that he has. And of course, he's got also a, a maxed Inferno that, uh, or almost maxed level 59 Inferno. And his level 59 Inferno uh, adds an extra 30% damage to all attacks. So that elite attack turns into 4,000 damage after uh, all is said and done. So very, very gross, uh, very, very strong team that he's got here. And with a level 20 Superion, I mean, sorry, Victorion on top of all of that, he can take out the best bases in the world with his uh, trademarked Deep Strike team. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, Prime Stark. Really uh, glad he's in our alliance. And uh, he shared a few more uh, attacks that he did uh, against uh, some of the greater uh, teams in the world. DJD, 3Bot with Volcanic has to finish the HQ. So let's just take a look at a few more of his replays to end out this video. And uh, if you have any questions for Prime Stark, just leave me a, a shout in the in the in the comments below, and I'll make sure that he gets them. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he he loves to engage with players, and uh, and he's just such a great player to to just talk to and to uh, just get advice from and strategize with at Prime Union. So again, here you go. He's using a, a Springer, Alita, uh, and uh, Inferno attack here. And, uh, and he's got uh, Volcanicus this time. And as you, as you can see there, his Volcanicus is pretty much maxed out as well. 
And then uh, there you go. See, Alita is like a little uh, mini star saber, but I find her just way more effective because she doesn't use up as many ability points as star saber. And um, that damage, uh, she can do a lot more damage because her, it doesn't cost as much. And when you pair that with Inferno, that's 4,000 damage each time she just flies around like that. So uh, very scary. And uh, of course, you need to deploy a combiner every time there's outpost bots at the top there. You need to uh, pop the outpost bots and then deploy your combiner to, to take them out. But you know what? He, as you can see there, it's just a precaution. And because the combiner can take out the HQ, uh, the HQ goes down and you don't have to worry about your bots. So that's another thing. Some of these combiners like Victorion or Volcanicus are just so strong, they can uh, take down uh, the HQ as well. So that's why like, I like to use Volcanicus every time I see a base that has uh, adaptive shielding on the HQ. I just, put, I just load him up uh, in my attack and uh, his uh, his his uh, his uh, brimstone and his uh, fury. I forgot the name of his four star ability, but that just uh, can rain down fire on uh, the HQ and weaken the HQ quite a bit as well. So let's take a look at one more replay, and uh, and that's about it for this video. So again, uh, he attacks Scorch Moon, uh, Star Scream, three bots with Superion. So he just wanted to show off uh, some of his uh, his attacks with uh, with his three bots and uh, different combiners as well and show off uh, how uh, strong and how powerful all his combiners are as uh, you can see here in this screenshot uh, his Victorian, Volcanicus and Superior are all over 4,000 uh, 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 total combat points so he's got a very very strong combiners and his Optimus Maximus is no slouch either a uh, very good bot for those raid battles so again here, a Starscream from Scorch Moon has a very good base. He's one of the best uh, players in the world as well. And he's just going to, you can see there, the base allows his Alita to path up really nicely. And uh, you see Inferno's ability, he can just wipe out the whole top here. And then now uh, you pop Lugnut, and then you use Combiner before Lugnut drop. Oh, he, he let Lugnut drop there. No big deal, I guess. Pops the combine, pops uh, the healer, uh, Springer, just to heal up Alita. And uh, as you can see there, yep, no healers. I'm at, I'm at Springer there. And then, of course, uh, Superior to deal with these combiner bots because uh, Starscream has very, very tough combiner bots. And you can see there, I'm sorry, outpost bots. And as you can see there, his Galvatron has uh, my Cronus core. It's always uh, uh, very difficult to, to defeat uh, players that have my Cronus on one of their outpost bots because that uh, my Cronus core is healing all three of the bots, as you can see there. And uh, he's got a Vector on his Desaurus, so that uh, once the source goes down, he's going to come back to life again. And then Megatronus, of course, he probably has his Megatronus maxed out as well. So uh, maximum damage, very, very good outpost bots that he's using. And as you can see there, his Max Superion couldn't even kill all three of those outpost bots. But you know what? They did the job. Superion lured away the outpost bots so Alita and Springer could attack the HQ. And the HQ goes down before uh, Lugnut gets back up to... Uh, <laughs> oh, they, you can see there that they both died at the same time. But, of course, I think uh, the replay is not 100% accurate. But you can see there that the Megatronus core was able to take out the HQ while Alita was engaging Lugnut. So that's the beauty of the Megatronus core. One of the best prime cores in the game, especially for uh, bots like Saber and Alita 1. You equip it on them, and then uh, if they fight outpost bots, not to worry. The, the flames will just burn those outpost bots alive. Okay, so that's it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Thanks. Um, we're going we're gonna to keep up with this character spotlight and player spotlight at Prime Union. And stay tuned for the next uh, video. I'll be pumping them out uh, weekly or try my best to do that. So this is Alpha Prime of Prime Union. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this video if you liked it. Really appreciate it. Peace out.